what you are about to view is a chronicle of myself, Edmund Gaunt, and my companions as we try to discover how magic fell onto this realm. You will see battles, you will see wits, politics, and much more. This is not a journey for the faint of heart. Beware of what lies ahead. Enjoy. Episode 31 of Fate Awakens. Woo! Over to you. Yay. All right, Saturday, November 20th, we will be at Charleston Con. Uh, we have giveaways of stickers and t shirts, possibly more to be determined. Uh, there will be a lovely little contest where we will have character sheets laid out on the table. You can fill one out for either an NPC or a PC. If you do fill out a PC, you're entered into a drawing to be selected to come and join us on the show. Even if you're not selected, we will use those PCs and NPCs in the campaign at some time, or one shot, or whatever other side project we feel like doing them in. So, cut. And make sure you put your handle on there so yeah. you know to tag you. Give us some way to know like who, who did it. you are. Like a Twitter handle. Remember. Your social security number if you're feeling it. Not that. First, last name. Uh, first dog. Like Mother's maiden name. Last four. <laughs> the, street you, the street you grew up on. And that aside. <laughs> he may be his cam, guys. <laughs> Are we the baddest? Is an MLM? Are we the bad guys? Thank you. So, last this time, true. <laughs> the group what do we decide went to, to the pillars. Mm. Yeah, did. did y'all decide? Did y'all decided to teleport to the fucking pillars. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that wasn't the last episode. That was, that was a couple like, of No, it was, was a couple of episodes. episodes. He's, He's still in the scene. He's still in the scene. My bad. <laughs> Let's take that? it back even further. <laughs> to be fair, there's a lot going on. Yes, y'all went to the pillars, discovered uh, the life of each pillar is written on each pillar. Yes. Said each person. Y'all went, and uh, one of you actually decided to take control of someone. That Technically, one. she herself decided to leave. Her body, her mind, there's her own will. But we, I mean, we can. It was the right thing. I stand by. Semantics. I stand by it. Either way, it was dope. She used her power to leave. Let's leave it at that. Yep. So of her own free as, will. As she left <laughs> on. A, a free will of someone's. Someone's free will. Someone's free will was involved. <laughs> <laughs> and she used her own body, mind, and powers. So, therefore... Everyone's happy. <laughs> yeah. In the moment she did it, she, she agreed Her mind was well, in there. Well, Razim is now... She's not alone. With you all. Little buddy. Mm. Well, you skipped around a lot. You were like, you went to the pillars and found out some stuff, and then the lady left. Like, there was a whole scene in there where... We don't have it. Yeah, we got for it. I want to tell you guys, Razim <laughs> was teleported to our location. This person that, as you've been following in the episodes, we've been looking for for a very long time. And found uh, we found him with the help of a, of a Kapoor. Oh, yeah, Kapoor, Kapoor definitely found him. A Immediately valiant. betrayed. A valiant girl. That's correct. <laughs> and she, she was ready to hand him over to us, and then... She's no, she was ready to kill him. Correct. Oh, She's no Desiree. That's right. And then, uh, and uh, then we ran uh, because yep. 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 we wanted to. We we decided that we want to keep Razim around for a little bit. We decided well, not to kill. Well, like, some people life. decided they wanted to keep Razim around. Correct. Some people are still up in the air about it. Nevertheless, we are camping in the woods outside of town. 
Well, that's for the camping at our eight man. <laughs> Thank you for watching today's episode. That's right. <laughs> that's <it>. Roll credits. <laughs> so, All right. So camping in the woods. Yeah. I would like yeah. you to tell me where you are going to be and oh. who is done first coach. Um. So I think that when we ended the episode, I was currently on watch. Yes. 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 And it's like the middle the of the night. We have completed the first take watch. Take. With yep. Arena being the trancer. And everyone else, I believe. Sleeping. Sleeping in the eight like person, inside of the eight person yes. tent. Dominic like volunteered to take watch. Actually, like, like, I was like, I don't need no man. Just call someone a trancer. <laughs> Maria was like, I'm a strong, independent <laughs> elf, but I don't need no man. Exactly. I just don't trust that. this place. All right, where are you all to be sleeping, slash, whatever? In the tent. We're all in the tent. You're all in the tent? I was over in the tent. We're we're the tent. tent. An eight-person tent is probably pretty big. We'll just say the eight-person tent is holding eight people big in this yeah. place. It was made for, like, ten people. Who else is in the tent? It's Everyone? It's an eight-man. We have except five people in the Or six people. No. Okay. 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 seems tiny, though. So it's all it's like half a man. Y'all are literally bunched up together, then. Yes. We yeah, were just five. I call it big tent. Five and up. I'm going shit again. My chick... First, he was like, I'm uncomfortable with this. <laughs> it's just like six strangers in the tent. Six grown men. <laughs> Do we need to turn that off? Not yet. <laughs> so, I'm curious. We're just going to do this the whole episode. To all people yeah. watching, we have a special camera that is the bad camera. Just cut the money thing. Turn, <laughs> when we turn that on. Yeah. <laughs> That's the fun part. Yeah, that's Because then fun. we know it's about to go down. Yeah. yeah. But it only has a 30 minute timer. It's going yeah, that's down. Cool. All right. All right. No, keep going. <laughs> this is good content. <laughs> little, little, <laughs> put in yes. little yes. breaking of the veil. A little BTS action. Little, yep. little Don't even got to pay extra for it. I will. But if you want to. So you're some watch? I will take second watch. If for all second first watch, watch goes well. Well, she's. We yeah. already finished our watch. So we finished we first her own and watch. second. Yeah, okay, I'll take third watch. There's no third watch. She is third and fourth watch. Because she's a four-hour trance. You do you. Do you. When you trance, who's watching? When, she is. I, when, she we, when we ended yeah. last episode, it was just me. Yeah. So, so she trances during our first and second watch, and then she's done trancing, and we go to bed. She untrances. We've been doing this since, like, episode three. How do we not have this down? Bulgrim has not been with us Bulgram? since episode three. So. Well, this is the first time y'all have actually This is the first time Bulgrim has slept That's... with us in water. Is it, is it really? Uh, yes. Yeah, Bulgrim assumes that at some point you will have to switch out. No. <laughs> he just <laughs> wakes up. Did not, no one wake up? That's the <laughs> entire reason we recorded a reading. We okay. sat around the table. That's our only job. We sat around the table, we the table. party, and we were like... <laughs> That's all I bring to the table. <laughs> What's the joke? Arena only needs four hours of sleep. Maybe we should bring her along. Well, I need yeah. you to roll perception for your watch. I will. And that's basically how that works. That's it. That, that's the extent of the conversation. I will roll perception for my watch. Sixteen. Does that do anything? It does. What's that sixteen do for you? Yeah, sixteen do. So as you do, you notice okay. that your shadow is not in the direction it should be. It is actually going towards the fire. Freaking cool, huh? You got That's some shadow shit, shit again. Did you say? Mm hmm. Thought that was done. We're asleep. <laughs> so, I mean, if I see that, I guess I'll, like, look at the moon and see and, like, double check. You see a very slight sliver of the moon. Okay. Is that a so, <laughs> what does that mean? Um, I guess that I'll, like, take my staff. Mm-hmm. And like poke my shadow, and I'll try and like I'll try and see if like it's doing what I'm doing. As you move to get your your staff, you don't notice the shadow even much. Okay. Um, I I'm gonna instead of getting my staff, I'm gonna get my spear. Okay. And I'm gonna yep, stab yep, the right. shadow. Okay. I need you all to roll initiative. Oh. And the sleepy ones too. Uh, yeah. So for when we're asleep, we get a plus ten. How does it work? I think it's a minus 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 this was on third watch. Yeah. This is on the only watch. This is, this is her watch. So third watch. Yeah. Yes. Initiative okay. is another six. Because I was up for a while. I just, just in case I need this. Yeah. Are we disadvantaging this, or are we just we're straight up? No. Right? Initiative. Oh. Okay. Initiative I have off. sixteen. There I am. You're sixteen. Good. I'm rolling so many times. No, I threw this one down. Because I didn't have to use that. For hacks. Disadvantage. Get 
good. I don't want to roll this. I really don't. Dude. Can I don't use some slide I know. Mm-hmm. Nice. That's what I didn't want to roll. I'm both I'm solid. I'll be hanging in the back. Can I possess a, a shadow? A four. You're gonna sleep through this whole thing again. Just like last time. <laughs> yes. I managed to sleep through the Dragon's entire last time we got that in the woods. The wolf. Yeah. What's your dex? Four on the same tip. Oh, okay. It's just your dex. Plus three. Four out. So what's your dex? Plus five. Edmund, what's your dex? Plus three. Spry. <laughs> 16 or 17 plus three. 16. Yeah, it was already Are you, so are you a 16? 17 plus three. Alright. Well, I'm old. <laughs> he used to be a 17. As we have learned, Jethro was a heavy scooper. Yeah. It's canon. It's canon. <laughs> Put that in the Ouija. And it's not. Oh, 31. I mean, I mean 13. I'm sorry. 31. 13. 31. <laughs> uh, I wake up a fourth show. Right? <laughs> I'm only a half elf, so technically I can't be put to sleep. Any magical yeah, way to do it? No. I was thinking about the numbers. Oh, I don't know. My brain switched. No, it's a half No. Charm. All right. Sleep. So. Magical sleep. You can't put it to magical sleep. My paper says charm. Did no, you write that? It's both. I did write that. It's, it's both. both. It's both. <laughs> I may have made a mistake. Oh, now you know. I should probably add that at some point. It's like a yeah. big, I was like, wait, it's a big thing for half of us at the level. <laughs> like, the spell sleep does not work on you. Huh. I thought it was just charm. Oops. It's an advantage on charm, and immune to magical sleep. Put charm slash... Wait, wait. So I'm, wait, I'm immune to being put to sleep. No, you're immune to charms. Or no, you're no, immune, immune to, to magic. Either way, advantage on charm. Pilgrim, advantage. I need you to roll a perception check at disadvantage to see if you wake up. 11. 11. That's average. Good job. <laughs> you stir in your sleep, but nothing seems to be going on right now. Mm-hmm. What does Bolton dream about? Arena. Mm-hmm. You were in the action of attacking the That's I'm genuinely curious. Weird shadow in front of you. Yep. Maybe yep. you just yep. go ahead and make your yep. attack. Yep. Same thing. So I am attacking with my spear. spear. Um, now we'll give you advantage. Spear the first spear the stick. Oh, that's cool. So it's a 19 to Which, hit. That's almost 100. Sorry? Which definitely hits. Cool, 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 cool. So it's 1 um, d8 piercing. So 7 damage for my first hit, and then I'm going to use one key point um, to enact Flurry of Blows, so I have two unarmed strikes instead of just one, so I'm also going to, like, I guess, like, jab, jab. Left hand jab, jab. Left hand jab, jab, so... And... Whatever 18 Did plus 7 is, that hits? I hit. Um, it's a flurry of blows for monks is like Elder's Flash Roll. Just, it just, so that's it a, is the thing. So every, that every is combat. a 9. A and. Deep bread and butter. Oh, and then I guess I'll do it again. So we'll see if the. Which can do it again. Hits 19. Two 19 also hits. And that is a 8. So then I'm going to use my free action to say, to yell out Edmund's name. Okay. Sounds good. Uh, Rimdill, I need you to roll a perception check at disadvantage. Yeah, this is going to go. You're not Edmund. <laughs> He looks like, I'm not in. <laughs> <laughs> so that's a five. She's five. Five. Well, you hear a large oh, snoring. I got a problem. <laughs> You're still. Is it five or a six? <laughs> Edmund, I need you to roll a perception check. Ooh. Uh, let's go black. <laughs> 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 My perception check is like a hot seven. You fart your sleep. 
Oh, come on. Right. It's, it's old man farts, too. Oh. <laughs> hey, that's fair. Let's give us a bit of uh, Stinky in about six You, seconds. from the other side of the tent, uh, ah. does something creep out. What? But why, though? What is that? Unholy bee. Is that a displacer? Welcome to the end of the campaign. All right. And... As it comes around, yeah, is this why I was told to roll up a new character? Why is it <laughs> two attacks on you? Mm-hmm. Why did you make us all roll new characters? Weird. <laughs> <laughs> a slaughtered. Fourteen to hit. No. Cool. Natural twenty. That one does in fact hit. <laughs> that one hit. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think there's a way for it. I am so sad. How is it hitting? So uh, the tentacles from his tail come up and okay. smack you across the face for one. Uh, the first one does seven bludgeoning damage. Well, only one of them hit. Right? Yes. But there's two cards in this. Seven bludgeoning. And. 12 piercing. Oh, so I'll just subtract 19. A hot 20? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 7 plus 12? That's what they said. Edmund's said. intelligence does not match. I'm asleep. I'm asleep. I'm asleep. <laughs> I'm asleep. <laughs> right, and they're asleep. I mean, it's not going to be great. And can we say, as it hits me, I cry out in pain? You do, because right. it not only hits you, it feels like there's blades on this tentacle that hits you as well. Cool. I'm going to scream in pain then. Tentacle okay. Does it make any noise when it hits her? It is actually Wait, extremely it quiet. I like tentacle blades uh, better. Tentacle blades sounds better. But my scream is not quiet. Dominic. Only ah. perception check at this vantage. What? Okay. She's yelling. There was, she yelled your name specifically. Oh, no, but no. now. Would you like the three or the natural one? I guess natural one, so eight. Eight? <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you smell that Wait. lemon fart. <laughs> oh, oh, what? Can you rewrite? Wait a minute. Okay. Okay. It's still a disadvantage. Oh, you feel lucky. lucky. Yeah, you feel lucky. Oh, my God. So, how does that work? It's still Don't you still have to take the three? Do I? Is that how that works? That would yeah. seem not I don't actually know right. how that works. You have to take the second roll. Okay, I'm not feeling lucky. I'll take the... Yeah, I was about to say, the one that just vanished. Either way, I'll take the lower one. number. Yeah, that's true. Which is All right. in this case. And so, ooh. so, I know how this game have, works. <laughs> you you yeah, smell that fart and have to roll over and kind of cover your face more. We'll All right. More. And from around oh, the shadows more. behind you. But why, though? We sleep. Renee, you're doing a fantastic job. I'm going to die. <laughs> <laughs> My character's going to die. Don't worry, I'll oh, see you. Jeff, Jeff, Jeff going to be the first one to wake up and see all that and just be like, <laughs> 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 Edmund, she called for you. <laughs> I just wanted to be said that Tom was like, I'm going to stay up and okay, take a watch okay. this night because I don't trust this I night. Tried Something's going to gonna happen. And then you all yell at me. <laughs> As these two shadow just come out of the shadows around you. I forgot what you're talking about. That's uh, actually a good example for teaching shadow. Shadow. That's good enough. Yeah. Yep. So, could you get out of there quick? Like a, like a little bit. Can you get out of there quick? No. You're already teaching so much of the time for me. Ghost is just going to make sense. I'm going to ban it from my whole game. I banned it from my first game. Unnatural 20 to hit. Yeah. It's fine. Yeah. Take nine necrotic damage. Oh, that means you do. to reduce your strength by four oh, points. Oh. We don't care about strength. Four four only people are over this. I need yeah. to reduce it by what? Four points. So the entire score. So the ten is zero. About that alarm. <laughs> cool. Yeah, um, about that alarm. <laughs> I, I set up. The second one. Uh, attacks you for thir- or 23. I'm down. And I'm dead. You're no, dead? 23 or, hit. 23 no, it's, hit. it's uh, my yeah. maximum. Point. Yeah, that hits. Yeah, yeah. I got you. Uh, that is a total of 10 necrotic damage. Oof. Yeah, I'm down. You're down? Mm-hmm. And your strength is reduced by another 4. Cool. I have a 6 strength. <laughs> That's negative 2. I'd like to wake up now. I would also like to wake up now. <laughs> so, where was your silver line at? So, it is a range no larger than the 20 foot cube. So, where would probably, you I'd probably put it around the tent. Okay. I will say it will go off with the attack 
from the Displacer Beast. Okay. Yeah. So, I like, don't you will say, I don't have to you all can go right now. So, first up... Oh, do I need to make a death saving roll? Not yet. The audible, the audible alarm produces the sound of a handbell for 10 seconds straight within 60. So, because that's the Displacer Beast, we're going to make it so all of you are awake on the next round. Because of that. Okay. That makes sense. So this is why there are lasers. Do I get to roll <laughs> to the bottom of the last round just down. to see if I wake up before the alarm? Yes, we're gonna see if you wake. I just, I just want to see. Not just for me. Twelve. Twelve. You wake up from the smell. Yes. And you hear a and suck at all of you. You hear a Rene scream bloody murder, and you hear like a almost because I died. windy. <laughs> <laughs> the bloody murder was mine. <laughs> the bloody murder. <laughs> so how do I get, I'm awake now. What do, what do I get? What, what, do I have an action? Fear action? Bonus action? Fear awake. Everything? Fear awake. I get everything. So, Muldrum. Oh. Uh, can I, I be awake, awake, awake now, or do I get a roll to I wake up? You're awake. All right. Uh, I'm going to hear the scream. Yeah, we'll just say the tent opens up this way. Okay. All right, so we hear the scream. I'm yep. gonna wake up. I'm going to yell, "Everybody up!" And I'm gonna jump out of the tent and see what I'm what I'm dealing with. Uh, you see multiple shadows around the fire. Arena on the ground. And she looks like the life has been sucked out of her, along with multiple slash wounds across her chest. And the large cat-like tentacle-tailed beast to your right. Okay, I am going to. I'm going to use whatever movement I have to run at and, and attack the tentacle beast. Okay. You can get there, no problem. Yep. Roll your attack. Uh, so that's going to be a... Because uh, that's my mind. 13. 13 hits. All right. Let's see what I can do. 11 points of slashing damage with my great axe. 11 points? That's right. All right. You do 11 points of damage as your axe goes straight across one of the tentacles, and you just see the tentacle almost move out the way, but you hit it. Just to cause a little bit of a almost purplish black ooze come out of it. And then. Um, that's what I'm doing. Uh, that's what I'm doing. Yep. All right. Arena, I use our truth. Yes, save. Da, 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 da. Wait, did you skip me? Da, da, da. Uh, Fail. Did you? No, it's Fulgrim, Arena, Frimdil, Edmund. Oh, okay. You have, like, the same or, or, initiative as, like, all these guys are going by dexterity. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, first one. All right, Frimdil. All right, upon, upon yes. waking up, let's jump up and... Step out. Yep. See kind of what's going on. Nothing good. Probably can't get to that side. I'll step up to the first shadow. Okay. Give her a some breathing. Hmm? Give her a some breathing. Yeah. Try to. Also, she might not be doing much breathing, but you know. Do a little swing with the long sword. It's uh, me right now. 25. 25 hits. We are still using regular long sword. Yeah. We still have our reason. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Um, six points. To the, the shadow? The shadow, six points. Shadow. And that will end my turn. Okay. Alright, Edmund. You wake up. You smell a familiar smell. Alright, I, um. Smells of me. Once I wake up, I'm gonna stand up mm -hmm. and glance through the tent and see these beasts. Um, I'm going to look at the first page of my book and go. Oh, this always seems to work. And I'll hold out my hand and cast 
uh, three darts of magic missile pew, pew, pew. at the displacer beast over. Does it say you have to see the Im- image from the I magic just missile? I it up. You do not. Ooh. Creatures within range. Nice. Okay. Good, Good deal. So I'll, I'll, have, I'll have them like literally zoom out of the tent and hit him. Which one are you going for? The, the, the beast? The one, whatever's kind of placed over Arena. Uh, hit everything. All of them. You can't well, no, see shadows or the beast. cat-like beast. The cat-like beast. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So I, I will uh, silhouette on the team. Uh, roll. That's literally right next to the I actually don't have to roll to hit. No, just roll your D4s. Yeah. You're doing that first level? I am. So it's, okay. it'll be three darts. And I will do. Nice. I'll do eleven. I'll do eleven damage with that. Pretty good. And then, can I run out of the tent without being uh, aggroed? You get right here because the tent is technically there. I will. Yeah. Okay. So I will. I will kind of try to go behind this tree if I can. So that be. F- you can actually get right there. Perfect. Perfect. And I got my next turn lined up as well. Okay. All right. My next. Pretty easy, right? Next is this guy who turns to Bulgrim. Uh, uh, Bulgrim, what you got? First attack. A Wait. 11 to hit. Misses. Second one is going to be a lower. Yep. Block it with my axe. Yep, so it, it attacks you twice, and because of the size of your axe, it's very easy to block these uh, large tentacle like ah. tails. Uh, Domic. Uh, so, like, is, um, as you woke up, you just saw all this carnage so we're like right outside. In the tent? You're technically right inside the doorway. So, if you step five feet this way, you're out of the tent. All right. And that would be 20 feet if you go there. All that. See all of that. Uh, can I. Get to really kind of like move through people's spaces. You can get right here to touch her if you want to do that. Okay, I would like to do that, please. That's your maximum movement. Okay. Thirty feet. And I will. Uh, it's boring, but I need people to be alive, so <laughs> it's like, I will kill wounds. I level like, two. Yeah, first, should I go drag her away? I level two. Nice. Level two. Boom, bam. Well, that's me. Um, Eight plus five is thirteen. Yay! <gasps> wakes up. So, am I on the ground? You're just awake. Yeah, yeah. You're now eleven oh. points up, and you're conscious. Yeah. And then but do, you're prone now. And then do the death saving. They stay. They stay. Death okay. saving oh. stays. So, so oh, that is important to know for the yes. Yeah, yeah. So, I know that all death saving throws for our custom rules are stay until a long rest. Forgot about that. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, so you get three death saving throws per uh, long rest, rest. Yeah, not yeah. direct. Well, every time you go. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and I'll look around. I'll say, hey, the... "Yikes!" To all of this. And I'll just throw it down a cliff. All right. So really these awesome. shadows see you stir. As one, one of them turns to you. We should dominate that. Hold up a shield. Uh, the other two on you yeah, are still prone, so it's at advantage. Does not particularly Please tell me I woke up just long enough to go back. Oh wait! Oh. <laughs> it's like it's like it's like the guys who ride the slingshot, and when they go up in the air, they pass out, sorry. and then they wake up and they're like. Oh. <laughs> One does a fifteen to hit. I'm down. I'm not down again. Fifteen to hit, babe. Oh no, that doesn't hit. Okay. <laughs> you roll. You roll that out of the way. Hit. What's your eighteen? Oh wait, hold on. What's your eighteen? Eighteen. So she needs two. One down. Seven. So uh, sweet glyph that's just like on the ground every day. Right? Yeah, when I throw it on a glyph, one of them like will like jump up, and just so, like a flash of light. Well, let's say it's trying to hit me, and I'm like. Yep. The first one you dodge out of the way. The Doctor. second one, you see it coming straight towards you. You see his glyph, one of his his uh, points just straight up goes, and you see it hit, hit the glyph. Ding. And then go right back down as the tentacle goes right and back around. Last one nice. attack. It's, so, it's okay. Shadow that's coming at him, right? right there. Yeah, it's no. much. This, this is the, the, yeah, the Shadow. This one is the Shadow, sorry. Yeah. Shadows are just like yep. flying around. Uh, so the third one goes to you. Yeah. Yeah. This one goes to uh, That is a nine. Nope. To hit. Ding. Ding. Yep. 
All right, after that, Jethro. Hello. As you finally start to <laughs> yawn, you're, well, you, you've been away. You're just a little lazy. Good morning, sunshine. <laughs> oh, God. Just pretend you're asleep. Just pretend you're asleep. Jethro, the last one to go. I know I'm the last one to go. Why'd you ask me if I went? <laughs> I don't remember you hitting anything. Did you miss? He did. No, I didn't. Uh, he oh, missed shit. Yeah. I just didn't pay attention. My bad. Welcome to the game. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? This was a fun party trick. Let's try it again. Can the displacer, not displacer, make a wisdom saving throw, please? Um, are you going to exit the tent or no? Because right now you're inside of a tent. Yeah, sure. I'll take a step outside. One step. Actually, Let's let me take a step, step and then let me take a little half step back to where I've been. Like in front and diagonal. Right he takes a step out. Nope. Nope. Over one. Way, other, other way. Other way. Other way. Other way. Bingo. Nope. Up one. There we go. Literally, he right inside. I do have a question. What is the Razim doing? He's still dead. He's still he is in the bed. Okay, okay. he's about to wake up. He is cowering. We do not want him to wake up. He's cowering. Yeah, that's, yeah okay. That's, uh, am I still in tent? Trust me, I've rolled a d20 already. Oh, that's dumb. Yeah, Razim. Well, move me out of the tent, I guess. <laughs> Two spaces out of the tent. Sir, tear. My apologies. Tread the tent. And the Displacer Beast can make a wisdom save. Wisdom save. Cool. A save of wisdom. That would be a total of four. He fails. Can I uh, can I get that snap block real quick? Best Thank you, sir. Nice. Oh, it actually. I don't like this. <laughs> so cover the top half of this. All right, let's. Uh, he has multi attack. Let's go with that. That seems like the most common thing. I'm not going to use a special ability because that sounds too much. Uh, no, you're not. You're actually good. Let me make an attack against. The smoky boy to the right. The first attack, of course. So like okay. Smoky Boy. I'm assuming the nineteen plus his six hits. Twenty-five? Yeah. Okay. Twenty-five and he does a D6 plus So he does eight bludgeoning and six piercing. Oh, wait. That's averages. I forgot how they seem to work. Go ahead, continue. I forgot that in the official little Wizards of the Coast things, like, here's the average and here's the dice roll. Right. Continue. It's the average. It's the average. And then uh, multi attack. Does the wizard seem to dissipate, or the shadow seem to dissipate after that? Or? No, it's still going strong. Well, I'm so. going to hit it again then. Yeah. I'm going to hit it Four, again. It's. I'm going to hit it. For. Seven bludgeoning and one piercing. So, describe what you do in the mind of this place or beast. <laughs> you know? Well, any movement or anything? In my head, I, I go over here back and forth. What are my abilities? <laughs> Hit things. Uh, you know what? It seems like a great time for him to evacuate the area. Okay. As he does so. And he gets opportunity attacks! Get oh, are you going full movement? Yes. How many movement does he have, sir? Um, 40. Okay. Make sure he has nothing else you can do with the bonus attack. The bonus action top. Hey, do you guys want some opportunity attacks? Not have yep, uh, Bulgrim has one. 18. <laughs> Bulgrim has one. The other hitty guy. 18, do you, does that hit? <laughs> yeah, you hit. You actually, you have one as well, sorry. Um, We're actually in range. 13 points of slashing with my great axe. Oh no, okay. DMT, no to that. <laughs> Why would you attack me so? Right in the haunches as it runs that away from you. Also, Edmund, you just see me collapse on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just leaned up against the tree, just. <sighs> oh no. Are you down? So I think I'm well, agitated whenever I use this ability. Yeah, so as it's taking Anytime it, I take it off, I'm just gonna. My actual body oh, goes. Good. Yeah, so that's a 23 to hit. Yeah. You hit. Yeah! So or. You points. can have a attack at disadvantage. 10 points of slash your friend. 10 points of slash. Sounds good. <laughs> it's like running away. Like, no, like, so you can make points. your attack up here. Yeah, okay. You get a free attack and it sends away. I'm gonna do it. Do it just like as it's. She's like on the ground. Just. Okay. <laughs> With the split the spear. So still good. it was a sixteen at least. Ooh, plus. Plus, yeah, so with my little spear at plus seven. Well you don't have your spear, I don't think. Okay, then on our Well she went down seven. with her spear, so she can still she get it in there. I still I went down with Does her spear. Does that hit? Uh what? Yeah. Sixteen. Oh yeah. At least. Like more. Yeah. 16. Okay. So 
So much nine. Fun. Nine damage. Nine oh, damage. Gosh. So okay. we've done what? Nine? Thirteen? I got it over here. I'm just curious. <laughs> also, <laughs> I'm assuming that my... Uh, thirteen. So I'm assuming <laughs> that my poison would not have affected the shadows. So would it have affected that living creature? Um, you noticed that the poison did not seem to be there anymore. Even though the shadows are not a full... You have to reapply. I can't do that right now, motherfucker. I just went down, like, twice. You have to reapply. <laughs> yeah, I did before we started. She's like poison her spear on the top of every watch. <laughs> can't help someone. Alright. That was... That was interesting. After so it seems to be you. It does not have, uh, by the way, it is incapacitated until its next turn. Nonsense is nonsense. Just have, just a heads up. So you can't take The end or beginning? Technically, it would make the wisdom save at the beginning of its next turn. However, there is no wisdom save to be made, so it gets its turn back at the at its next turn. But it can't make reactions, basically. Yes. So it can't react until its next turn. <laughs> He's choosing to make it not react. <laughs> yeah. Like, I right. I am in possession of it until its next turn. During its next turn, I zoop back to my body. Okay. Yep. During so after death row. Okay. Hold it's on. Quick question. Cold. Yes. The opportunity of attack. If I were to use... A reaction upon hitting the creature. Can I use one of my battle master maneuvers? Maneuvers. If it says you can, yeah. Yeah, I think they all. If it says when you hit a creature, yeah, yeah. you can expend the. Yeah, when you hit a creature, yes, you did back hit a creature. So I will use up one of my die. What move maneuver are you gonna use? Goading attack. So as it's like, when I like slap it on its ass <laughs> as it's leaving. I'll be like, you better come back here. <laughs> Jeff, no one is fine. Why would you do this? <laughs> my, Brenda, what are you doing? Stop. Why are you leaving? I don't like By this. the way, you feel all this pain. Yeah, I, I, I just felt, I felt in its body, you slapped my ass. So mm. And also stabbed it. Just I don't know axed again. I don't know that one. So... Yeah, Jethro doesn't feel this, but in the mind of this Blazer Beast... It takes seven more slashing. Nice. And it needs to make a wisdom saving throw. It's quite unpleasant. Not gonna lie. This I have an eight. I have a couple. Okay. So it, it fails. Already good. And then the target has disadvantage on all targets other than me. Okay. So it is to you. Okay. It's also running away. Fairly so scary. of my next turn. Do you Sounds take good. over their mental stats? Yeah. Do you have to actually make a wisdom saving throw? No. No. I it for I am in control of its movement, speech, and something else. So it's not its turn there. Bulgram. This is still your turn. Yeah. Uh, Bulgram is. It's uh, well, Bulgram it was it's excited it's that your turn. Okay. We took we we made this thing run away from us. There's still three still shadowy good. guys here. It's okay. We we made it work like that. <laughs> Yeah. There's three shadowy guys here. Pulgram is uh, is going to get start to get angry. Uh, Bulgram's going to get very angry, and as a bonus action, Bulgram would like to rage. Yay. Oh, can you rage for me? Seen this. I have. It's scary. What's going to happen? I'm also unconscious right now, so I can't tell you that. All right. Cool. Watch it. So um, I'm going to see the thing run away from me, and uh, in anger, I'm going to throw my axe at the displacer beast. Wait, your um, battle axe. My battle, my two-handed heavy uh, battle axe. I'm gonna throw it as hard as I can uh, at the thing. Do you only right now? Do, do yeah. Have a throw? yeah. <laughs> and as long as it's within 60 feet, it should reach it. It is just at 60 feet. All right, perfect. All right, so I'm make it run like that. Buddy. So I have never seen this. No, <laughs> yeah. no one has. Uh, that is a 16 to hit. 16 to rage. This one though? Uh, no, I've right. seen him rage. No, I, I this, is, this I, looks different. I haven't even seen him rage. Uh, it's 10 points of not slashing, but. Uh, ten points of force damage. Okay. And then you guys watch as it hits and impacts the back of the creature, does its damage, and then flies back into my hand. Oh, no. uh, I'm standing. Oh, no. Bulgrim's like, like surprised oh, no. by like what's going oh, no. on. It's just like, you know, like a mixture of surprise and like that was awesome and like excited that it hit and it's just gonna keep rolling with it and just gonna. Nothing bad could ever come of this. I'm gonna rest like holy shit. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Pain great. Oh, Anything right. else? Well, dope as hell. That's my turn. Right. Oh, I'm gonna use my movement to because uh, I didn't use it yet. I'm just gonna run at the shadow at the bottom here. This one here. Yep. You want to be right there? Yep. Right up on him. Okay. All right. 
Uh, after Bogram, Arena. Yeah. You want to stand up and build these guys? You can stand the ground. Uh, yep. Uh, sure do. <laughs> We're in the middle of three of them. And I am going to... This is the one you've been hitting, just to fly. I'm going to stop the one that I've been hitting. Okay. My square square. Do I have an ally within five feet? Uh, Bulgrim is five feet behind you. Cool. Can I get... Let's see. Oh, let's get that. Um, so that is a 19. It's... Well, does she get advantage, or does she get... When you have advantage, you have some attack. Yep. Yeah, but you don't get advantage. Yeah, you don't get advantage. So just re-roll. Just re-roll once you have advantage. Sneak attack. Alright, does a Um, 12 hit? Yes. Okay, cool. (laughs) So now you do your sneak attack. Then I can hit. Because she doesn't get the sneak attack. Either one. Either or. Yeah. I know it's either so or. It so it is six plus three, so nine. Well, you get three. You get three yeah. B six for sneak attack, or for sneak attack, right? No. So no, it levels. No. Uh, it's based on your rule. Level yep. one and two, it's one die. Three or four. So two, as you stab two, this, two, 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 two. you see the hole that you poke just it goes straight through. But as you move, you see the like shadow kind of dissipate along your your blade of your spear, and it just kind of disappears into the air. Or disperses into the air. Yay. I like to imagine Cool, I'm going to use my bonus action <laughs> to extend <laughs> another. Not a shadow disappearing. <laughs> you get sucked back into the aether. <laughs> um, I'm going to spend another key point to make two unarmed strikes on the one next to it. Key point is fresh. Yeah. Yeah. That one is fresh. This is rope monster. So, Punch pairs. It's like they're both dead. 17. So, 17 yeah. hits. Rogue Monk is a solid multi class. Do I get sneak attack? Shadow Monk is a rogue. No, is I think you only get one sneak attack. You get one sneak attack per turn, yeah. You can do it on the attack opportunity. Nine? Yes. Do it again. Yep. Which one? Which one? Which It's 15. Flurry, you get to add your hits. That's a sneak Flurry, you add your. Eight. Yes. Sick. Eight more? Yep. Yep. That's Monk's benefit. I'm it's punching not the not hell out of these shadows, man. Oh, 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 Your shadow, I'm still gonna punch you. The yeah, shadow's oh, just like floating around your hand. Is she finding any kind of like solid? 17 damage. She's not, like, she's hitting, and it looks like the shadow is moving with her punches, but it it looks like her punch slows down as it enters it. Like, it's actually entering the shadow. Got it, yeah. It's a gelatinous. Are, are your attacks magical yet, or no? No. All I can do is cast darkness, dark vision, uh, pass without trace, or silence in my early uh, Next up is Rimdale. That's you, big guy. Uh, move forward. Okay. Thing. We'll do the swing, bro. Fourteen to hit. Fourteen hits. Seven slashing. Seven slashing. Got it. And which one are you you're doing this one right here? The arena was just sitting? Yes. That one. Alright. Still seems to be going strong. That's, that's it. <laughs> Alright. After Rimdell goes, Edmund. Uh, so, am I within 90 feet right now? Or I'll, I'll just move up 30 feet to the displacer beast. Kind of in a straight line. Then I'll definitely be within 90. And I'm going to, uh, just because I see the shadows and I see how dark this thing is, I can't quite tell what it is. So I'm going to try to cast Chromatic Orb at it. And I'm going to use at, at a second level. And I'm going to use my Awaken spell to, to replace the damage type. This is not one that normally goes with Chromatic Orb, but I'm going to do Radiant. Radiant? Yeah. Build right. your own guy. <laughs> and this is going to be Edmund's Radiant Orb. All right. Okay. Uh, Does the orb come out of your hands? Or uh, so it's going to be a, a 24 to hit. It is great value Guiding Bolt. <laughs> great <laughs> value Guiding Bolt. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm stronger than Guiding Bolt now. This 46? <laughs> and this is towards the beast? This, the is, beast. this is right at him. It was 24 to hit. So. Yeah, it's... Yeah, that's uh, I know it's 18. 
Do I have one more D8 in here? I should. She should too. She hit barely. <laughs> uh, so. Uh, 15 damage radiant. 15 radiant. Uh, Alright. How do you want to kill it? Oh. Yeah. So, so as I'm kind of flipping through my spell book, Check my I'll, <laughs> I'll think of the shadows, I'll think of the sun and light and how that usually helps against them. I don't know quite what this beast is, but I'll, I'll flip it and I'll start reading the spell of Chromatic Orb, flip a couple pages, and then finish the spell uh, from a different part of the book and try to combine them. And I'll send out, it's, it's four inches in diameter, so it's kind of a small orb. Float through it, kind of enter its body, and then expel this light through it as it rips apart. Okay. As you do that, you what? see the, the purplish black oozy blood just kind of pop out in every orifice as this radiant ball goes in and kind of explodes. It makes good videos. Uh, All right. Dominic. Cameras are rolling. Oh, I was not ready. You were... <laughs> they are undisclosed tubular <laughs> chips. Corn chips. You saw Edmund do the brightest radiant ball you've ever seen. That made this dark cat-like creature that gets explode me, from the inside out. That gets me moved. Splat. Radiant balls. Radiant balls. And there's still two shadows over here? Correct. Uh, I was gonna do something else, but that takes care of one problem. So I will just back up and... What is happening over here? <laughs> don't worry about it. Don't chase the camera. <laughs> We're um, eating branding. Who's the branding? All right. I will just cast Guiding Bolt on this yeah. shadow over here. Um, Which one? The one closer? Yeah. Okay. But does a light come from the heaven? Really? Or like... Not from the heavens. Um, he is the heavens. From my... Uh, this oh, symbol glows pretty uh, much every time. I'll, I'll like do a, a little bit of a spirit bomb, like absorb all the like. There's lots of flashes and like in the cinematic moment me. with light stopping. I'll well, just gather up. All <laughs> <laughs> Nothing comes with those two. I'll I gather up know. some of the remaining light of uh, the campfire. I don't, I don't think you want any of the spirit. I have to offer. Shoot him with a bolt of fortune. Oh, whatever. Two. Get any bolts? Yours is only black. Do you want me to take one of the? I don't know why. Just re-roll one. Re-roll which one? Either one. Just pick left or right, because I know what they are. Right. Right. So I'm re-rolling the right. Uh, Fourteen plus numbers. It is. Uh, yeah. Um, I was gonna do level two, but I forgot to say level two, so we'll do it base level. That's fine. Because that's on me. Ooh. Crap. <laughs> So are you the discount guiding bolt? Or yeah, not? <laughs> yeah it's a very value. So what is it? I'm still gonna light it. Cost mm. seven. How do you want to do this on those? <laughs> it's a what? No one knows. <laughs> that was forty-eight. No, it was forty-six. <laughs> one, 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 four. <laughs> uh, I mean, so as this bolt of light comes through, for you. <laughs> yeah. That. That one disperses as well, just turns into almost a mist. Um, I can't do another spell, because that's my spell, so I am done. Okay. Uh, as this last shadow sees it go, he reaches out toward Arena again. Damn. Spot that up. That is for a 19 to hit. Mm-hmm. Nope. Uh-huh. She's eight. eight. Minus eight. That is a... Eleven. Take eight away. Eleven to hit. This is the thing I do. The glyph. I'm mm. a glyph cleric. This is my one thing. He reaches out for you. Uh, we talked about this. And you see his hand go to touch you, and the glyph kind of moves it out the way. It moves like, gently like, you. no, we're not going to do that. <laughs> oh, hell no. Oh, hell no. <laughs> All right. You see Dominic <laughs> right against his hand. <laughs> <laughs> you, you put that right down. Jethro, it's your go. I'm awake now because the thing that I was currently unhappy is dead. Yep. But you are, by the way, I felt that explosion and it was rather unpleasant. Thank you very much. You have to stand up. So yeah. 15, I'll, I'll use my action to stand up. I love He's on his left? Yeah. He's taken quite a few hits, I know, because I did them. Uh, <laughs> through the body of the displaced beast. 
uh, you know what? This is just better time than any to just throw, just lob, like just softball toss and help splash mm-hmm. this way. Go for it. I need to make a warlock with your somatic component. He's like, did you just gotta catch it? <laughs> that is a He's like, oh, hey, 14. Oh, 14 to hit? Yeah, it hits. He just does a gannon and swipes it back at you. Yeah, this one. This one. That's 12. It's tennis. This one? Yeah. I do it again, actually. I'm catching my ball. A six. Six damage? Yeah. Okay. You see the Elder's Blast hit it and almost like go into its body as it grows a little bit. Grows <gasps> Oh! oh. Necrotic. Necrotic. Stop necrotic! <laughs> now we know. You <laughs> said the goose, you helped us. Now we know. <laughs> Bulgrim. Yeah, I'm gonna see this That's happen. A brand. I'm gonna see this happen. Noted. And I'm gonna look over at Jethro and I'm gonna say, <laughs> You silly so angry. Yeah, I'm like, Jethro! <laughs> <laughs> Listen, that one's on me. Mistakes are made! It was too easy, I'm sorry! Uh, no, no, I'm still, it's the same rage. So it's um, I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to swing at it. Go for it. Same rage, same over. Same rage. Yeah. So because it helps him, he's on my side right now. Uh, so it is over. a 15. 15 hits. That is a 14 points of uh, force damage from my glowing How do you want axe. This? Yeah. So I'm going to see him hit Good it with the, with the, with the, um, the necrotic energy, and then it's gonna get bigger. And uh, I'm just gonna say, "No, you don't!" And I'm just gonna swing my axe right at its head, and just kind of like try to, like, home run derby, knock it out of the park. Nice. Are you left or right-handed? Boy? I'm right-handed. So as you swing right, you slash straight through it, and it becomes a misty shadow, and just kind of surrounds Arena, and then disperses around her. Ooh, all right. Cool. And that is all of them. I hit it. We did the thing. Good job. I, li- I lightened it up a little bit for you. Uh, you made it worse. <laughs> cool. I'm gonna drop down one knee. But I did. Because I got. I, got I made it better. Before <laughs> I made it worse. Sure. So it cancels out. Double negatives. Yep. Uh, roll a perception check. Or... I was about to say the first thing I was gonna do. I don't know if you want to do this before perception checks. The first thing I'm gonna do is shout Rosine. Yep. I rolled also a natural twenty. Out nice. nice. I don't hear anything at all. I rolled twenty three. So 22 is what it is absurdly quiet. So I will rush into the center. As you rush in, you hear, you see him doing this, like holding his knees to his chest, rocking back and forth, and his mouth is open like he's screaming, but nothing is making a noise. Oh, I, 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 will, I, will, I will press the digitation, the smell <laughs> of Helena's cooking in the tent. Oh. Stupid. Creative use of presto. <laughs> Presto. That's my wife. Okay. That's you do that. That's my wife. And, and he, like, doesn't seem to be screaming anymore, but he is rocking still and, like, staring straight ahead. I say, my boy, I told you we were So as you say that, your mouth is just flapping. We're Nothing is coming out. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll reach for his hand, then. Make a persuasion check. Persuasion? Yep. Fifteen. Fifteen? He looks up at you, takes your hand. I'll, I'll just walk him right outside the tent. Okay. Uh, and I'll throw up some dancing lights. And I'll say, I'll, I'll kind of gesture over to the beast uh, if his body's still there. I'll say, I'll to- I told you, my boy, we're here to protect you. So everything you say around him, nothing. As he comes out closer to the fire, you hear the fire crackling just go silent as well. I'll try to message him. Welcome's gonna run over to the. You do not. He. Uh, you don't think he heard you because he doesn't want to make any like actual response. What are you doing? I'd like to go over to the body of the beast, which we battled. Okay. Uh, and, you know, how much of it is left after it's been exploded? Um, there's inside. some bits and pieces here and there. Uh, what are you looking for exactly? Just looking for any teeth. Well, investigation. Um, 13. 
13. Give him minus one. Yeah, I'm super down. Super down. Yeah. Uh, Perception. You, great. Is it, you find find a crack tooth. Okay. Um, it kind of reminds you of like a like a like a large sort of predator feline. Okay. I will take it and uh, and pocket it, and then I will just continue to do like a big peri- wide perimeter around our camp just to see if there's anything else out around. Roll a perception check. These I'm good at. Uh, 13. Do you have dark vision? I do. Okay. Alright, you start making your way around. Yeah, I'm just going to be doing that while okay. everybody else does their thing. Okay, fine. What was everyone else I'm going to follow Bulgrim to the Displacer um, Beast to just, you know, monitor the situation. But we all know what I'm really doing. Okay. Is there yep. a... I'm going to give a... You still don't look great. I'll just light a hand. And that's it. That's all I get. You notice he's doing this weird thing. Uh, So I am gonna, when I see Ruzine come out, I'm gonna go and like drop down to one knee and like Okay. 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 I will also, uh, now that it's me, I will uh, take my illusionary quill out and try to clear some space on the ground to write. I don't know if we're in a grassy area or if it's like some dirt around, but I'm going to write in the dirt. I told you I'd always protect you, like in the dirt. Okay. As you do that, um, y'all noticed, like, Everything went absurdly quiet. Mm-hmm. That are still here. You two do not because you're actually circling and looking around. But it's like to the point where it's like no noise. Like fire could make any noise. It's still angry. I'm actually feeling a lot better. Oh. Through my axe, it just stays. <laughs> Must be over. <laughs> All right. So we are going to end episode 31 there. Thanks for watching that, viewers. If you like this episode, please like the video and subscribe to our channel uh, and ring that notification bell so you get notified every time we post new content. Uh, if you want to know more about this series, uh, the campaign is on this box right here, and you can follow our latest interview, which describes each character's backstory and their background information over here.